come to Ephesians chapter 5. Ephesians chapter 5, I'm reading from verse 25. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 25, we're looking at the second pillar, self-sacrifice. Self-sacrifice. We're looking at Ephesians chapter 5, verse 25. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church, and gave himself for each. And gave himself for each. A stingy man will not make a good family. A stingy woman will not make a good family. One of the pillars in the family is self-forgetfulness, self-sacrifice that you give yourself. You remember? It says, husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church. And what's the demonstration of that love? Self-sacrifice. Actually, I would have wanted to take that to myself, but that should go to my wife. I would have wanted to enjoy that for myself, but that will go to my husband. I'd like to take care of my family. I'd like to take care of my, you know, extended family, cousin, um, other people, and brothers and sisters and siblings. But my husband is number one. I would like to take care of, you know, my siblings that, you know, we, we have grown up together. But my wife is number one. And your sacrifice, you're going to sacrifice to take care of that wife, to take care of that husband. He gave himself for it, for the church. We're looking at Isaiah chapter 58. Isaiah chapter 58. And I'm reading from verse 7. Isaiah chapter 58. Reading from verse 7. It tells us in Isaiah chapter 58 verse 7. Is it not to deal thy bread to the hungry? You're not going to allow your husband to be hungry. You're not going to allow your wife to be hungry. You're not going to allow your children to be hungry. And your parents, if already now you're a child and you're working, already your father, your mother, they have trained you and you have got uh, some substance in this world. You're not going to eat everything you have by yourself because you're part of this family. And is it not to deal thy bread to the hungry? Your father is hungry. You are not even looking his direction. Your mother is hungry. You are not looking at her direction. Your children are hungry. You are not looking at their direction. What, where is the love? Where is the pillar that sustains the house? It's need not to deal thy bread to the hungry and to bring the poor that are cast out to thy house. Uh, what happened that, uh, you know, your, one of your children, well, she is already beyond 18, is already beyond 21, and there's no job yet. I've sent him to school he's graduated if he doesn't get work that's uh, you know his own uh, his own business no he's poor and he's ragged and he has nothing and he's still part of the family out of university is still out of the family out of school is still out of the family that should take the poor that are cast out when thou seest the naked that thou cover him look at this look at this and that thou Hide not thyself from thine own flesh, thine own flesh. Husband and wife shall be one flesh, that you do not hide yourself from your own flesh. They need material things to cover their nakedness. And they need, um, you know, some substance or whatever, so that they can feed and they will not die of hunger. And you'll not be spending all your money alone by yourself. In fact, in honor preferring one another, she must be forced in your consideration. He must be forced in your consideration before you spend anything. You know, you're saying, this is all we have. We have this, we have this. I remember there's uh, money in, you know, that other account. I've not looked at for some time now. And she must have knowledge about everything. And then we bring everything out and you spend on her. If it's a woman, you spend on him. Self-sacrifice number two.